Yo, I'm just remembering like 80s jargon, 80s lingo, 80s information in terms of sayings, phrases, the language that was fucking used back then, man. Like totally tubular, dude. I mean, shit like that, man. Totally tubular. What? Totally tubular to the max. (laughs) I mean, dude, like fucking totally tubular. That shit's got to come back, though. I mean, why? I mean, people are like, yo, dude, what's up with the podcast? And I'm like, yo, I'm getting fucking paid to do it. And it's working. It's working. So, so yeah, man, on my podcast, I talk about a lot of different things. Thanks for tuning in, too, by the way. If you're a fan of this show, if you support this show, if you appreciate this show, I, that is yours truly, one, Sir Grove, O-S-G-O-E, Alpha, Analytical, Grove, Numeric, X, man. I appreciate you. 495, appreciate you. My team appreciates you. So yeah, man, fucking totally fucking tubular. Imagine that, man. Some people have never even heard that expression. They're like, totally tubular? What does totally tubular mean? Dude, how could you not know, man? (laughs) Shit. I mean, and even people who were fucking saying it back in the 80s, they didn't know what it meant. They were just like, yo, that's totally tubular. I mean, dude, tubular. (laughs) Yo, so I'm just saying like, if you want to learn English and that's why you tune into my podcast because you know that I use a lot of like valley talk, that I that I use valley language, that I that I'm from. Cause when I talk to cats, they're like, yo, where are you from? And I'm like, what you mean? They're like, nah, where are you from though? And I'm like, man, I'm from the West Coast. They're like, I knew it. I knew it, man. You're from California. And I'm like, kinda. <laughs> I've been there. I live there. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mean, I was talking like this before I was ever in California. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, this is the West coast, man. That's how we fucking talked back in the eighties because, and I forget sometimes like, I'm like an ax. Cause they're like, I knew the accent, man. I knew man. I'm from the accent. And I was like, the accent, the fuck? I don't have an accent. And they're like, and then, and then, the, and then, the, and then they're like, "Yeah, man, yeah, I knew it was West Coast, man. I knew you were from the West Coast from your accent." And I'm like, "Oh shit, I guess I do have an accent. I never really thought about it like that, but I mean, now that you put it that way, I guess shit, I do have an accent, man. I got a fucking West Coast accent and shit." So, um, but yeah, uh, the one that took me took me a while to get it down was the uh, because I studied a lot of languages and whatnot, Japanese, Korean. French, German, Russian. Not saying I'm fluent or proficient in any of them. I'm just saying that I actually studied them. I did. I did. I studied out of the book. Used software. Studied in the classroom. Took Japanese. Took German. Took Korean. Went to Korean school. Taught in Korean school. Uh, Korean is a second language. I talk about this all the time. Um, so it's nothing new. Uh, I was in French for about... Uh, three days, the number after two, three days, three days, man. And then I found out that Japanese was being offered and I was like, no disrespect to the Francophone countries. No fucking disrespect, man. But I'm hopping over into Japan, Japanese. And so um, I enrolled in Japanese uh, in college because I had taken Japanese in high school. So I studied hiragana, katakana, and uh, I didn't get very far with it, man, back in the day. Um, I, I learned a few things um, here and there, just like a few phrases and stuff, uh, and some little nuances and a little bit of intonation and whatnot. But uh, I really enjoyed in college, man, studying foreign languages. A buddy of mine um, from the streets, from my neighborhood, Riverside. We moved from one side of the state to the other side of the state where it was like more laid back, more peaceful country kind of sort of living, but it was really not the country. It was 
the desert, actually, believe it or not. Um, the mountains, the mountains, the mountains with some desert. Um, he and his girlfriend, uh, fiance at the time, they, uh, they had this, this spot that was dope. A lawyer used to own it and, uh, they, uh, they had a house that had been converted into like a law, a law firm, law offices, and, uh, it was out on like the, like the main boulevard of the town. But keep in mind, this is like an old country, Western kind of sort of town. I mean, suburban homes, like on the hillside, it's in the mountains, man. It's a little mountainous community and shit. Fucking, uh, shout outs to Apple Blossom Festival. So, uh, so anyway, man, 509, shout outs to the homies from the 509. Fucking, uh, there was, was a Border Books? This is a store like Border, Borders, Borders Books, um, something like that. Can't, oh, Hastings. That's right, Hastings. Motherfucking Hastings. 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 <laughs> There's no such theme song. I'm just like making that shit up on the fly. Freestyling. Um, motherfucking Hastings. Hastings. Bookstore. Bookstore. Motherfucking Hastings. Hastings. Bookstore. Hella corny, just made that up. But Hastings was dope though. Wasn't a corny bookstore. Dude, when they sold out of all their shit, they were like blowout special. Everything's gotta go. Some products as much as 85 to like 95 percent. I mean, it was crazy. Some shit like that. So he bought these foreign languages discs that ordinarily would have been like hundreds of dollars. He bought the whole fucking thing that came with like 24 languages or some or 30 languages or 50. This big ass box, man, with all these fucking CDs in it, kind of like the Rosetta Stone. That's how I started to study Arabic after 9-11. In fact, they gave me a certificate for that. And I started to work with a university to develop an Arabic curriculum for that university. Um, I studied using UK software, software that's made in the UK. But point is, he bought he bought what should have been like hundreds of dollars, like maybe a thou- thousands of dollars worth of software, some crazy number. Um, he bought it for like twenty four bucks. So we'd sit, sip on, drink all day long from sun up to sundown, and we'd play with these foreign language software packages. We studied Japanese, Hungarian, like your boy one Sir Grove studied Hungarian one summer like what fucking totally tubular dude (laughs) yeah man um but uh the dj man he used to go he used to go swish and he would be like cool wave he'd be like woohoo right and uh and 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 so anyway we studied all these different like languages that most folks don't study like in colleges in America. And that was fucking rad. In fact, that shit was totally fucking rad. Um, I got to look that up, man. Oh, was it living? Was it living language software? Something like that. Let me see. Because I've studied so many different um, software suites. I think it was living language, if I'm not mistaken. Living language. Uno momento. That means one minute in Spanish, I believe. I'm joking, man. I don't know any Spanish. I know mucho dinero, un poquito. Am I saying that correctly? Un poquito? Una más? Uh, uh, Jose Cuervo? Um, Cerveza? Shit. Hombre? Fucking. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Living language. Yeah, right. Remember, everything's been revamped and shot for the 20th century. All right. So- Oh shit. Hola, como estas? So, uh, yeah, man. Um, I'm looking at this website here. Living language. Oh, what's this? CBC News update. 
Toronto police collect 2,700 firearms through gun buyback program. <coughs> Good for them. Um, let me see. You know what I hate about the fucking Smart News app? I'm just going to put this out there. What I hate about the motherfucking Smart News app, I like Smart News app. I like that it's color-coded. I'll, I'll tell you what I have on my app. Okay, across the top, got U.S., politics, uh, world, biz, that's business for short, tech, science, buzz, social, American military news, spy, and uh, it's called spy, uh, and uh, lifestyle, and, and did I say sports? So that's what I have currently. I like how you can go over here, you can go discover new arrivals, world politics review. You know what? I need global I need global affairs intel because I work in global affairs secretly. So let's add that. Yahoo Entertainment, not fucking interested in any Yahoo News. Fuck Yahoo News. They're whack. Um, let me see what else is up here. Trending. Cosmopolitan. I like man, I forgot about Cosmopolitan. I like that shit. Celebrity news, beauty, hacks, fashion, inspo, sex positions, and relationship advice. I mean, I'm only looking for the celebrity news, dude. Come on, man. That's a bit much, but I'm going to add that anyway. Um, see, I already got Daily Signal, The Onion, not funny. Um, that is some liberal left shit. I'm joking, man. Come on, dude. Fucking lighten up. Even though I'm Republican conservative, there's some funny shit in The Onion. I'm a fucking comedian, dude. So, I mean, dude, I like Saturday Night Live, and that's some of the most liberal shit that there is. Come on. I mean, look, they're, they're, they're fair. So, you know, sometimes they, they're not always left like some people think that they are. I mean, they are mostly, but they go back and forth. But, dude, I'm a fucking huge fan of Saturday Night Live. Wait, I already got Reuters. Don't I already have motherfucking Reuters? Shh, gotta add Reuters, dude. Add that shit. You see, uh, the, 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 you see, with me, doesn't really matter. So, I mean, you know, look, I, the only thing I don't have is fucking CNN. I don't fuck with CNN. CNN's bullshit. Let's see, what's this, futurism? Let's add, oh, LSD is helping people end their alcohol dependence. That's cool. Um, uh, Congress, let's see, futurism. Congress denies NASA request for more moon mission money. Well, I wonder why. It's because there are aliens on the moon, and they're probably like, yo, we, we, we said this before. There's no need to be here. We're here to observe you. Don't need to come up here. <laughs> All right? So, you know, motherfuckers pretending like they're going to the moon and shit. It's like, come on, dude. Just be real with it. Uh, but then again, who knows? Um, bu- 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 Oh, hey, man. R.I.P. to Grumpy Cat, man. R.I.P. Uh, what does this say? Futurism? Grumpy Cat is dead. We have the technology to clone her? Wow. So, so... What I like about what I like about smart news, gotta add wired. Let's add wired. Boom, added. Gonna add National Geographic. Boom, added. Um, Earth and space science news. EOS. Fucking gotta add that shit. What does it say here? American Geophysical Union. EOS is the leading source for news and perspectives about the Earth and space sciences and their impact, and helps readers understand our planet and its environment. I like that. Let's add that shit. Um, no Ridge Science Report, Science News and Discoveries. Fuck yeah. Oh, look, I'm already looking at the graphene. I can tell that's graphing. Scientists find new new way to manipulate atoms. Got, oh, and, and then also it says, why is the Pen- Pentagon interested in UFOs? Duh! Why wouldn't it fucking be? UFOs are totally fucking tubular, dude. Gotta add that shit. Boom. See how the gov is like secretly coming out? Like, like, I said secretly. See how the government is coming out and they're basically just admitting all the shit that they were once like hiding and shit? In fact, man, I heard on the news that like, is it the Navy? Is it the Army? Is the fucking military? Military wants to know what you know about UFO activity now. And they've got a database, and they're asking for you to submit what it is that you know that they ought to fucking know. I have some reservations about that. If I were to tell the government everything that I know, 
about UFO activity, there might be an issue. Um, let's see, what does it say here? Science news. Daily news blogs feature stories, reviews, and more in all disciplines of science. This is science news. Fucking dude, I gotta add this. It says, quote, an experiment hints at quantum entanglement inside protons. No fucking shit. Added. Okay? So look, I'm I'm fucking, I'm fair and balanced and shit, right? Like Fox News. I fucks with Fox. Uh, so, I'll tell you what's fucking stupid as, oh, there's a child outside my um, space here. I can't, I, sh- I need to, I need to dial back real quick with the, uh, the profanity here. Um, <clears throat> what does it say here at this website? This is called Curiosity. Explore questions you've always wondered about and uncover answers you didn't know you needed. Boom. Added. It says right here. Do, 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 do. Quark gluon plasma made up the early universe and scientists can recreate it. No shit, Sherlock, we created fucking artificial parallel universes if you read the other article that predates this article by about mm, 20 years, and it talks about the University of Maryland and how our government working with academia created artificial parallel universes in a laboratory. So we're talking about a whole universe, dude. So if we've created whole universes, uh, I'm guessing that they contain... uh, quark gluons as is indicated herein so <clears throat> and plasma because i mean shit you guys know what dark matter is right it's fucking plasma i mean come on let's just like why is it such a mystery i mean it's a fucking plasma of some kind right dark matter dark energy dark energy being different from that of dark matter dark energy is what i meant is a fucking plasma Dark energy is what I meant, is a plasma, okay? I mean, it gots to be. So, I mean, how is that a fucking mystery? So, so at any rate, I mean, I'm just saying. So, what I fucking despise about about uh, the Smart News app, now that I've pointed out the, the pros, right? The pros. Let me tell you about the cons, I see no fucking way to remove this piece of shit, liberal shit, where it says top. Like, top is pinned. I don't want to see top. Because top is like seeing CNN. I don't want this fucking stupid shit on my app. It's like, to use smart news, I gotta see liberal news. I don't want to see fucking liberal news. Like, that's a fucking problem with me, okay? This shit ain't totally fucking tubular. Man, come on, man. That shit is not tubular. Totally. So, um, what does this say, HuffPost? Game asks players to kill journalists, make him... This is fucking... Man, people are getting out of fucking hand with this kind of news shit. Um, Apple devices, game plan with Steam includes a mission that asks players... Okay, man, this is, you know, this is fucking... Man, what is this 3D, sniper 3D shit... Uh, little Uzi Hurt, <laughs> instead of little Uzi Vert, little Uzi Hurt. Um, wow. Wow. Fucking, man, irresponsible. So, uh, so yeah. So, so I don't want to see this top news shit here. Um, this is fuck, this is shit I don't want to fucking see. It's liberal news. And, and it's fucking stupid. Like, so why do I got to see it? Like, why would smart news think that having this anchor that is docked, that is like default to the app? Like, why, why would they, why would they fucking think that this is going to help them? It doesn't help, it doesn't help them in my, fuck that noise. Yo, I took a break and then I just came back. But yeah, man, another word. Another word that was used at the time was gnarly. Yo, man, that shit is gnarly, dog. (laughs) This is before, this is before dog became 
a word like dude. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, dog? How you doing, dog? Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day, the word was fucking gnarly. <clears throat> Man, that shit is gnarly. You know, like you'd fucking skateboard or be on a bike and shit. And then you like fall over on your bike or like you like, um, you would, uh, you know, you'd, what, what was it? What was the word? Beef, uh, beef, man, he just beefed it, biffed it. Oh, biffed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. biffed it. That's right. Yo, man, you just biffed it. I <laughs> biffed it. <laughs> oh, wow. What a fucking blast from the past, man. Yeah, if you, like, wrecked on your deck, if you wrecked on your board, you know, your skate deck, your fucking skateboard, your bike, some shit, like, if you just, like, fell out and shit, they'd be like, oh, damn, that shit is gnarly. You just biffed it. These are expressions, man. That are non-standard English. So if you are listening and you are interested in learning some colloquial expressions, please continue. Um, But yeah, back in the fucking day, I'm just trying to remember, man, like all the different... There was a uh, shove it up your butt, where, shove it up your ass. Did we say ass or was it butt? Shove it up your butt. Yeah, I think ass was a bit much. So we would say... Shove it up your butt. Shove it up your ass where the sun don't shine. Stick it up your ass. Stick it up your butt. Maybe it was both. Stick it up your butt where the sun don't shine. Or stick it up your ass where the sun don't shine. One of the two, if not both. I mean, dude. Stick it up your ass where the sun don't shine. I mean, wow. I mean, imagine if a nigga just broke out on a video. It's like rapping and shit. Yeah, I'm rolling with my motherfucking crew, dog. You got a problem? Stick it up your ass where the sun don't shine. Stick it up your ass where the sun don't shine. I mean, yo, man, as a chorus, that shit would be fucking amazing. Stick it up your ass where the sun don't shine. What? So, yeah, man. Let's see. So, stick it up your ass where the sun don't shine was one of the expressions uh gag me with the spoon that was another one uh let's see what else <clears throat> people would say uh oh man she's a dog man she's a dog and then they'd be like uh um or she dog me man that's cold man she dog man you got dog man you got dog so dog was like Someone would get basically like, um, oh yeah, it was a burn, right? So like burn was also an expression. Oh man, burned you, man, burned you. <laughs> that was burn. I burned you. <laughs> People used to say that shit. We were fucking crazy, man. Kids in America were fucking crazy. I mean, these expressions, man, they were part of our everyday lives. Keep in mind, just like people say nigga nowadays, nigga, 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 you know, nigga this, nigga that, bust rap, every word gotta say nigga, yeah, rolling down the street, man, I'm kicking with the homies, straight niggas, uh, doing this, do, 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 nigga, and every motherfucking line of the rap with the word nigga, right, it's like, niggas just become like, just saying like dot, 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 nigga, 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 right? Dot, 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 nigga, nigga, nigga. It's like fucking nigga is really like I was <clears throat> sharing with my uh, lovely co-host the other night. We were having a telephone conversation and I was like, you know, got these people on the internet and they have this debate about like who can say nigga and who can't, right? Like there's this whole debate and then you'll have like people who I, I hear conversations, man, in social circles and shit, like offline, and someone will be like, well, he used, I was at this party, and such and such used the word nigga, and I had to let him know that it's not 
in my opinion, okay for him to use it because though it would be okay for these other people over here, he's just really not someone who should be using the word. And I'm just like, come on, dude. Who gives a fucking shit who uses the word nigga? I mean, dude, honestly, I get it. It's, you know, degrading because it's derived from the N-word nigger. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, but nigga is the cool version of the word nigger. You know what I'm saying? Because nigger's not cool. Like, that's the N-word. Nigga's not really the N-word. I mean, but it is. And it's okay. I mean, it's the, come on, dude. That shit is convoluted. It's over fucking complicated. All right. So here, let me pose the following to all of y'alls. So, uh, since niggas is so widely used, like white kids where I come from use it because I'm half white. So I'm a white kid using it. You know what I'm saying? I'm also black. So I'm a black kid using it. I'm also mixed. So I'm black, white, white, black. I'm mixed. You know, I use it. My white friends use it, black friends use it, uh, you know, Hispanic friends use it, whatever, I guess. Some people say Latin American friends use it, Native American friends use it, my Korean American, Asian American friends as a whole use I mean, dude, how about we just admit that using the word nigga nowadays, despite some people that are still opposed, like, man, I'm uncomfortable with the use of that word. Yeah, check it out. How about we just agree that it's the same as using the word dude? Like, what up, dude? What up, nigga? What up, dude? What up, nigga? It's the same shit. But, yeah, anywho, um, it really is, dude, in my opinion. I mean, look, dude, I grew up in America with people saying all kinds of racist shit all the fucking time, man. All kinds of people saying racist shit. Not just white, but black motherfuckers too, man. So... You know, just people, man, in general, human beings, like, saying racist shit. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not just saying to me. I'm saying motherfuckers in general. You feel me? So, point, point is that, uh, really, honestly, man, people need to get over the whole nigga thing. Because people are saying it. It's mainstay. <clears throat> it's part of society now. And uh, it really is. It, it's, 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 it's just like saying, dude, man, it really is because, because the black dudes who use it, they're not saying when they say, yo, my nigga, my nigga, right. They're not saying like, yo, my nigger, my nigger, like that's crazy to think that, right. What they're saying is like, yo, my dude, my dude, that's my dude. It's the same. That's what they're saying, man. Yeah, I get it, you know, it was originally meaning something else and meant to be something else and it was derogatory and it's like, you know, it was racist and it was a slur and it was like, it was, it was fucking just demeaning. I totally understand that. So was fucking Valentine's Day. So were all the pagan fucking holidays that Christians celebrate. They were fucking demonic and pagan. They were pagan and fucking demonic. They're they're cool now, you know. Saint Valentine's and shit, like you know Valentine. Yeah, no, they're all cool now, man. That fucking Rome made them all nice and like happy Christianity like times, like where it's all rosy and shit. But come on, what are they derived from? Now you say, hey, Happy Valentine's Day, right? Hey, Merry Christmas, like. You know, happy fucking Halloween to you too, right? It's like, come on, dude. Like, if you do a little bit of research, like, you'll figure out that these things used to not be nice things. So, um, so yeah, so yeah, so saying nigga nowadays, because it's not disrespectful. It's just same as like, what up, dude? What up, dude? Yeah, what up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Nigga, what's up? So that's that. Then let's see. What other words? What other words? Other words? Other words? Other words? Uh, Let's see. What was the 1980s? Okay. So just going back to my memory bank. Hold on. I'm going to pause real quick and think about it for a moment. All right. So I thought about it. So one of the things that kids used to call each other is a butthole. Fucking butthole. (laughs) I mean, man, I'm just having a good time, man. I'm just reminiscing, you know, just like. And motherfuckers were sitting around drinking some 40s and shit. 
just fucking reminiscing about the good old days, man, when we used to skateboard and ride BMX bikes and shit. People used to call each other dickheads. You know, not just like dick. Oh, that dude's a dick. It was like, you're a fucking dickhead. Right? You had to add the head part to it because it was like, you know, it was like strong, like fucking dickhead. Right? You had to emphasize that shit. Fucking dickhead. Fucking butthole. Um, let me see. What was the other one that they, oh yeah, sex, they used to call it humping. <laughs> I remember when I first heard that shit, I was like, what did you say? The dude was like, yeah, hump. And I was like, hump? <laughs> Listen to the way that shit sounds, dude. It sounds so fucking, it's just so wonky, man. It's like, yeah, man, they were uh, like kids. Remember when kids like, there'd be like a weird neighborhood with like, like some couple and they'd have the like window, like blinds, like kind of slightly like askew. And then people are like, oh my God, they're humping, right? Dude, the word hump is just ridiculous, dude. Oh my God. Uh, Yeah, man, we were walking through the park and those, there were those two people humping in the car. <laughs> it's like, dude. <laughs> People are so colorful, dude, with their language, man. It's fucking so funny. Uh, all right, so people called each other. Uh, oh, yeah, cheesy. Cheesy was a word for a while. I mean, it predates, like, my time. Like, my mom's uh, and, like, my uncle and, like, you know, her, their generation, they used to... Uh, they used to, uh, like my mother and her sisters, like their generation, they used to, uh, cheesy, cheesy's way before our time. Um, then there was a whole thing, dude, you know, like what's up dude. Right. Back in the day, that was a fucking big deal. Like, because it came to be like, it, it came, it came to be a word that, that we use today. Um, albeit, you know, we didn't originate it. It's not like any of these are from our generation specifically, but these are words that we would use on a daily basis. Like this is how we would communicate. Um, oh, grody, grody was another one. That's grody or, uh, you know, gross, gross was another one. Like shit was gross all the time. Oh yeah, man. That cafeteria food, man. That that's gross. Ooh, that's, that's grody fucking grody. Um, is there a D man? Is there a DJ named like DJ Grody? <laughs> Let me look that up. There's gotta be a DJ in the world. There has to be a fucking DJ with the name Grody. Watch. I bet. I bet you. I bet you. Watch, watch, watch DJ. I'm just guessing out of the billions of people on earth. There's gotta be a DJ Grody. There's got to be a motherfucker. It's right there. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. DJ fucking Grody. It's, this is on SoundCloud. I kid you not. I'm not making this shit up. This is fucking bananas. It says, until I am a millionaire, God bless. DJ Grody. No fucking way. Oh, yo. And the dude is fucking. The dude is flipping off the camera. That is classic. So there truly is. Look, you can say DJ, whatever, and then like type a name and that shit will come up. There's always some fucking DJ with the name. Look, I'll just say DJ Peanuts. Watch, I'm going to do this. There's got to be some motherfucker in the world. DJ Peanuts. Watch, here, let's go. DJ P. Look, I know it's going to come up. There's got to be a motherfucker with the name Peanuts. DJ P Peacock. Oh, there's a DJ Peacock. DJ Peanut Butter Wolf. Yo, that's a pretty fucking dope name. Who is this guy? Let's check this dude out. Hold up. American Disc Jockey. Never heard of this dude. Christopher George Manic. Ma Ma Monarch Manic. Better known by a stage name. Peter, uh, I'm sorry. Peanut Butter Wolf. Is an American disc jockey and record producer. From San Jose, California, IA. He is based in Los Angeles, where he moved to in 2000. He is the founder of Stones Throw Records. I very vaguely recall seeing something about this dude before, but that could be a false memory. 
Um, but there was something about Stone's Throw music or whatever I just read. Um, okay, so hold up. But we're looking specifically for DJ Peanuts. <laughs> DJ Peanuts. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. DJ Peanuts. There it is, man. DJ fucking Peanuts. There is a dude whose name is DJ fucking Peanuts. This universe is fucking nuts. Hold on, man. DJ fucking Peanut. Okay, so there's DJ Peanuts. Is DJ Peanuts, like, plural? Is he the same as DJ Peanut? Let's look. Let's look. Let's check this out. Facebook. I'm not on Facebook. Um, Psych. I'm on Facebook. But I get banned from Facebook because I say things that are politically charged. Like, when I called fucking Lois Ferry Chimp a motherfucking chimp, they were like, that's racist. They didn't even give me an explanation, dude. They're just like, you're banned for 30 days. And I was like, fuck you and Facebook, bitch. Um, well, it was Facebook, so I was like, fuck you. Um, let me see. DJ Peanuts. It says, oh, personal interest. Wait, okay, personal information. DJ Gender. Uh, photos. Go to photos. See, I'm not see, I'm not connected to Facebook on 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 these computers, is what I'm saying. So I can only see, like, I'm not logged into Facebook is what I'm talking about. Um, so I don't know who the fuck this is. I'm just trying to get, just trying to get a little back, back a story on, on DJ Peanuts here. Uh, reviews, no, no rating yet. Events, uh, can I get the name of a fucking song? There are no upcoming events, past events. So these, it looks like DJ Peanuts, there's a connection to France. This is like a French thing here because March 10, June 10, May 13 from March, May between March and May there were three shows. Uh Grand Soirée Retro <laughs> I don't fucking know French whatever that says. Um Apatoise Un Folet um, I know I totally butchered that. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. I don't know how to pronounce any of this shit. That's why I'm just fucking clowning here. Soiree, retro, whatever the fucking that shit says. But it was in France, it looks like. And, uh, so that's DJ Peanuts. That's different. Um, okay, let's do one more. DJ, DJ Paint Thinner. Watch. There's a mother, I know, I know, I know there's a, try it yourself, man. Look, DJ I'm just saying randomly, DJ Paint Thinner. I know there's a motherfucking DJ Paint Thinner. There's got to be in the world out of billions of people. There has to be a DJ Paint. How do I even know this kind of shit? It's because, dude, because I'm a fucking geek, okay? I'm a nerd and I study shit, okay? I know that you can come up with any pretty much fucking name and there's going to be a DJ with that name. And I'm proving all that shit right now. Oh, oh my God, dude. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Young Paint Thinner, DJ, no, Detroit. I'm looking for a DJ. Is there no, is there no DJ Paint Thinner? <laughs> hold on, man, let me put this shit in quotes. We're going to look for, for just DJ Paint Thinner. Maybe there isn't a DJ Paint Thinner. Hold on, hold on. Uh... No, I don't see any indication that there is a DJ with the name Paint Thinner. But just because I don't fucking find it on Google doesn't mean that there isn't a DJ Paint Thinner. There's got to be a DJ Paint Thinner somewhere in the world, man. Yes, there has to be. I mean, there's this dude here. It says Joey Perp Paint Thinner. That's a song. Obviously, he's Joey Perp. And then the song is called Paint Thinner, I believe. Uh, yeah, okay, so those are songs. YouTube removed man who wanted to sick, who wanted sick people to drink paint thinner. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Um, no, dude, there's no, I don't see any, any indication that there's a DJ out here in the world with the name paint thinner. Wait, hold on, more, more results, more results. Clean strip paint thinner. That would be Walmart. Um, 
Nope, dude, I don't fucking see anybody with the name DJ Paint Thinner. But, I mean, why not, dude? Why, why not? I mean, there's DJ everything else. And I'm sure there's some motherfucker in the world, like I said, he's a DJ, and his name is probably Paint Thinner, and it just hasn't posted to Google yet. Um, Come on, let's take him. Let's take him. D- I bet there's a DJ Automotive. It's got to be a DJ, because because you remember how like some people would call themselves Auto, right? Okay, like Auto, like Autobot, right? There's got to be a DJ Automotive. Let's see, DJ Automotive. There's got to be a motherfucker in the world who calls himself DJ. Dude comes right up, boom, right there. Hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. There's a DJ automatic, it looks like. Looks like there's a DJ, DJ automatic. Hold on, hold on. Records, boom. Let's see who's spinning. Uh, so, could be... Could be a DJ paint thinner. That's unknown. You're probably like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, what is going on here? I'm saying to you, I believe that there is somewhere in the world a DJ paint thinner. I'm trying to find indication of there being a DJ with the name Automotive. There is a DJ whose name is DJ Automatic. I mean, come on, dude. That's a... That shit is a no-brainer. It's probably a couple DJ Automatics. Okay, this dude... This DJ Automatic... He's got 18.3 followers. 846 following. 2,000 posts on Instagram. I don't have Instagram. Um, DJ Automatic Home Facebook. Boom, here we go. All right, uh, bu- 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 uh, twitter.com forward slash DJ Automatic. So there's a DJ Automatic, and I'm guessing somewhere in the fucking world there's a dude who calls himself DJ Automotive. Come on, dude, that's a dope fucking name if you think about it. DJ Automotive. Dude, come on. Gotta be a DJ Automotive somewhere. And there's gotta be a DJ Paint Thinner, I'm convinced. Of, of such, but anyway, I was going from memory, we're going to look up 1980s, you're probably like, dude, this is a hella long podcast, I mean, shit, I've had longer podcasts, it's less than 45 minutes, just like I'm talking to one of the homies on the phone, um, 1980s uh, phrases, phrases, here we go, boom, let's see, let's see, oh, barf, forgot about barf, man, this this one bad to the bone. I thought that shit was dumb. Bad bad to the bone. I mean, dude, it's like man, they played that shit out. Airhead, yeah, that you know, she's an airhead. She's she's a ditz. I mean, it's like, yeah, that you know, I mean, eh. but barf barf was 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 used quite a bit. Barf bag is an insult. It says right here. This is from your dictionary. Bimbet. Wow, never heard that one, dude. Bodacious. Totally fucking bodacious, dude. Bill and, Bill and Ted's. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Excellent. Um, Let's see. Bogus. Definitely fucking bogus. Boho. Dude, what? I don't know. I've never heard that shit. Boy Toy. Definitely... Boy toy was in use. Butt ugly. Butt ugly, yes. Ah, see, cheesy. I told y'all. T, cheesy. Uh, chill. Let's see, uh, oh, dweeb. Yeah, I forgot about dweeb. The whole thing that Bart said, eat my shorts, like, dude, I don't, I don't fucking, dude. There was never, like, a kid on the playground when I was a kid. There was never anyone in junior high school or high school that was like, motherfucker, eat my shorts. I'd be like... All right, weirdo, that's stupid. Like, am I, like, I'm not impressed. Like, what kind of insult is that? Uh, 
Okay, I see Gnarly. I see Grody. Hacker, like what? Oh, don't have a cow. Right, right, right. Hoser, uh, party hardy. <laughs> oh my God. The word fat, like to me, to, the word fat to mean dope. Like, yo dog, that shit is fat. Um, we had fun with that one, man. Cause that fat came out for me in my generation. That wasn't an eighties thing, dude. Fat was the nineties thing. And when I first saw it, I was like, that's fucking dumb. But then it became like the word and I, and I accepted it. I was like, you know what, man, that shit is fat dog. Like what? That shit is hella fat. Hella. Hella is another one. I knew these females in California when I lived in California, they were from, uh, they were from fucking Kentucky. Tennessee or Kentucky? What they were? Oh no 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 no! They were from Charleston. They're from uh, they're from what we used to call what we used to refer to as the Carolinas. And instead of saying hella, they said hecka. They'd be like, "Man, that's hecka dope." And I was like, "What? What the fuck did you just say?" She's like, "I just said it was hecka dope." What do you mean? And I was like, "You said hecka." And I was like, it, it, "I said you said hecka." And she said, yeah, like, don't y'all say hecka? And I was like, we say hella. And she's like, oh, shoot, where I come from, we say, we say hecka. She'd be like, man, that's hecka fresh. And I was like, oh, my God. Anyway, man, um, her sister and I kind of like, like play, like dated for not, not even really date. We were kids, dude. We were like, we were both, she and I were like fucking 15 year olds, um, she, I was 15. She was 15. Wasn't anything like other than just like what 15 year olds do, which is just like, like, like fucking not even know shit. Like we we're just, what did they call it back in the day? Making out or whatever. Yeah. Made out with their sister, man. Um, so <laughs> that sounds so fucking stupid. Um, poser. Yes, man. We used to fucking, if somebody was skating, and they were fake skaters. They were fucking straight up poser. We'd be like, man, that kid's a fucking poser. Be like, yeah, man, that kid can't really skate. Why is he always carrying a skateboard with him? Because like I said, man, he's a fucking poser. I mean, that was like serious. Back, dude, back in the day, you did not want to be fucking. If you, were a, if you thought you could skate, you did not want to be labeled a poser, dude. That was some bad shit, dude. Um, oh, psych. Psych. The dude would do the whole thing with the, like, you'd go to, like, shake the dude's hand, and then he'd, like, take his hand, and he'd, and he'd like, pull it back. Like, I'm not going to shake it. He'd be like, psych! And then he'd do the whole thing, like, like his hair's so slick and so cool, right? That shit was stupid as fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot about some of these, man. Rad, radical, righteous. Dude, righteous is still the shit. Spazzing. Fucking, oh yeah, the whole thing about shit sucks. Took that for granted, I forgot. That was totally 80s shit. Dude, I'm so stoked. <laughs> oh my god, man. Just this shit is a blast from the slam dance. Oh my god. I totally fucking forgot about slam dancing. Like, you know the whole mosh pit thing? Some people don't even know what slam... Dude, I forgot slam dance existed. I remember people doing that shit, and I was like, what are they doing? And they're like, oh, they call that a slam dance. And I was like, are we on fucking Mars or Jupiter or some shit, dude? Like like Venus or Neptune? Is it, What? Do people, like, slam their bodies against you? The, they're like, yeah, man, it's a form of dance. And I was like, that's fucking stupid. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, just like when we used to call festivals that they call now like edm it used to be called it used to be called rave music okay electronica or rave music they'd be like oh dude does he listen to rave music and he'd be like yeah dude he goes to raves and it's like whoa dude and then they'd have like a, a rave in a warehouse and then like oh yeah here we go stud I remember kids used to be like, dude, you're a fucking spaz. 
Kids were so mean, man. Oh, to the max. Totally tubular to the max. Um, uh, Valley Girl. Yes, indeed. Valley Girls are hot. Um, oh yeah, Wicked. I forgot about fucking Wicked. Wh- Dude, that trick you just did on your bike, man. That was Wicked. Wicked was used quite a bit, man. Did you see him throw that spiral, man, out on the field today, man? At our practice, dude, with the football? That was a wicked spiral, man. Straight up, dude. Um. Oh, my God. What are these people talking about? This is fucking... Okay, this is weird shit that these people are quoting here from TV shows. There's the whole thing about Papa Smurf. That's funny. <laughs> Papa Smurf, are we there yet? Not yet. Almost. Um, or whatever he said. Yeah, man, so those those were fucking phrases, man. I gotta, not in this episode, but I'm gonna have to do some more research and, uh, and figure out, oh, wimp. Wimp was one. That was another one. Wimp. Man, don't be a wimp. My cousins and I used to say that shit. We'd, like, play fight and stuff. And, like, my buddies and all of us, like, out on, like, the play, playing field, like, at recess and shit. Don't be a fucking wimp, man. You're such a wimp. Uh, I like Seth MacFarlane's jokes, uh, about the, uh, the ongoing joke with Stewie. Where Stewie, he, uh, the way he pronounces cool whip, cool whip. Or whatever, the way he does that, that shit is that that shit is funny. Anyway, uh it's hilarious. Anyway, just thinking back about the word wimp and how wimp was used, like overused, just like so much. Uh <laughs> my uncle was the one that like he used to use the word chump. <laughs> he was fucking he'd be like, Oh yeah, those those kids are poor sports, man. They're just chumps. And then he also used the word neen com poop. Neen com poop. Let's look up mean com. I, I, cause man, I thought in, you know, like hindsight, I was like, yo man, I used to hear that word mean con poop. And, uh, I was like, yo, is that like, is that racist? <laughs> cause I didn't fucking know, but it says right here, mean con poop. That's the word of the day, dude. Word of the day. Now that I think about it is mean con poop. You mean con poop. It's a foolish or stupid person. Idiot, fool, ass, half-wit, dunce, dolt, ignoramus, a cretin, imbecile, dullard, moron, simpleton, clod. Let's see, Google says more. Informal, dope, ninny, chump, dimwit, nitwit, goon, dumbo, dum dum, dumbbell, loon, jackass, bonehead, fathead, numbskull, blockhead, dunderhead. I mean, dude, who the fuck dude in school like who the fuck said you're a fucking dunderhead never heard that shit what is that midwest man that's got to be some shit from like new england or the fucking midwest i've never heard that shit before um i mean i've seen the word but i don't recall anybody ever using that word a chucklehead (laughs) (laughs) oh shit What the fuck is a chucklehead? There's no <laughs> the Mandela effect's crazy, dude. There's never been this word. This shit never existed in the English dictionary until what the fuck is a chucklehead? They even got pudding head, thick head, wooden head, airhead, pinhead, lame brain. Yep, lame brain. Pea brain, bird brain, zombie, jerk, nerd, dipstick, donkey, noodle, informal knit, twit, numpty, you numpty. (laughs) (laughs) These fucking politicians are some numpties. Holy shit. This is funny. Clot, plonker, burke, prat, pillock. Wally, oh yeah, Wally, I forgot about Wally, Wally's funny, um, Git, Wazok, Divi, Nurk, Twerp, Twonk, Charlie, Mug, Muppet, Informal, I don't even know how to, Meaf, 
Is that is that how it's Niaf or Naf? I don't even know how the fuck that's pronounced. Balloon, Sump, Gauk, or just, I don't even know that. They're getting weird here. Informal, uh, Gobdo, Gobdow, Informal Schmuck, Bozo, Boob, Lamer, Turkey, Schlepper, Chowderhead, I've heard that before. Dumbhead, Dummy, Goofball, Goof, Goofus. Oh yeah, Goofus. Totally fucking forgot about Goofus. These fucking Goofuses. Um, Galoot, Dork, Lumux, Klutz, Putz, Schlemiel, Sap, Gink, Cluck. I said Gink with the G, so don't fucking get carried away here. Um, and think some crazy shit, because I know what it sounds like, and I didn't say that. Cluck, oh wow, Cluck, that's funny, man. That's what we used to call fucking bass heads out on the block smoking fucking rocks. We call, we call rock smokers Clucks. Clunk. Ding dong, ding bat, wiener, weenie, dip, simp, spud, coot, palooka, poop, square head. You square head. <laughs> That's stupid, dude. Um, yo yo, dingleberry. I remember dingleberry. They use that in 80s movies. Informal wingnut, informal drongo, dill, alec, gala, nong, bogon, poon, boof head. <laughs> boof head? Really, dude? A boof head? <laughs> you fucking imagine imagine dude like a tv show and they're just having some type of quarrel and he's like all right then boof head it's like that's not even really funny that's just stupid like you boof head it's like you just call me a boof head right like bo- boof head like that's what yeah i called you boof head you're like and i'm supposed to be impacted by that like i'm supposed to feel that in some fucking way right because like what 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 is a boof head you're one you are one you're boof head just be like all right dude (laughs) whatever you say pal i mean shit i've never heard anyone call someone a boof head what is this mompera see this is so weird the language is in in it's very strange vulgar slang knob head i've heard that Vulgar slang, ass hat. Ass hat's funny. I like ass hat. I don't know why. It's just, you know, ass hat is, is hilarious. It's, it's pretty good. I like that shit. Archaic, Tom Fool, the tomfoolery of it all. Naughty, Clod Paul, Loggerhead, Spoonie, Mooncalf. Oh, wow, dude. And it ends with the word of the day don't be such a ninkom poop. Anyway, man, that shit is fun, dude. And I'm going to take some notes. And I'm going to start calling politicians numpties because there's some fucking numpties. And uh, and I'm going to start using the word chucklehead. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. I don't know about y'all, man, but that shit has me fucking laughing my ass off. I'm your boy, Once or Grove, OSGOE.